Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on electron beam welding process. So let us start with the working principle. So just you can see here it will be a electron beam welding process, which is the category of radiant energy welding process in which the workpiece are joined by a heat obtaining for a concentrated beam composed primarily of high velocity of the electrons that will be impingements onto the surface to be joined. So just you can see the setup here for an electrode materials, it will be utilization of tungsten material. So this tungsten filament which will be connected with a AC power source. So once you on a AC power supply towards a tungsten filament, so that will be omitting a electrons. And just you can see after these electrons, it will be passing through a cathode electrode and anode. So which will be connected with a high voltage with a DC power supply. So once it will be the potential difference is being occurs with high voltage. So these emitted electrons, which will be accelerated. And just you can see in between cathode towards the anode. So after this cathode and anode, these high energized electrons, it will be focusing with a lens. So just you can see with the both the side that will be focusing and deflection coils or you can say in simple way that will be a lens. So which will be connected with a low voltage DC power supply. So this emitted electric form a tungsten filament which will be accelerated by a cathode and anode and which will be focused with the help of focusing coils or you can say with the help of lens towards a workpiece material. So just you can see this is a workpiece material which will be into a vacuum chamber. So these high excited electrons or you can say high excited flow of electrons which will be concentrated onto a surface of a workpiece materials. So the whole systems it will be into a vacuum because in that case the basic principle is kinetic energy of these electrons which will be converting into a heat energy so that will be need to be a highly concentrated that's why it will be the requirements of the vacuum chambers for easily impingements onto the surface of a workpiece material so this is a basic setup for ebw or you can say electron beam welding process so these whole systems it will be known as a electron gun housing so basically for electrode materials or you can say filament materials it will be ac power supply then for anode cathode it will be having a high voltage and for a focusing lens it will be connected with a low voltage dc power supply and hold the systems it will be fully automatic then descriptions and operations so the system consists of an electronic gun and a vacuum chamber inside which the workpiece to be joined are placed. The electronic gun emits and accelerates the beam of electrons and focused it on, on a workpiece material. When a tungsten filament is electrically heated in a vacuum to approximately 2000 degree centigrade, so it emits an electrons. The electrons are then accelerated towards a hollow anode by establishing a high difference voltage potentials between a tungsten filament and a anode. So just you can see once it will be made a high potential difference between the filament materials and anode materials. So all the emitted electrons from a tungsten filament which will be accelerated. So now it will be having a highly kinetic energy. So once this highly kinetic energy of an electrons, which will be striking to any materials, so that will be converting into a heat energy. So the electrons pass through the anode at high speed, approximately the half of the speed of a light. So that will be the tremendous speed is being generating. Then what happens? It will be collected into a concentrated beam and further directed towards a workpiece with the help of magnetic forces resulting from a focusing and deflection coils or you can say in simple way that will be utilization as a lenses. The highly accelerated electrons 
hits the base metal and penetrates slightly below the base surface. As you can see, that will be an electron beam. It will be easily concentrated onto the surface area of a workpiece material. The kinetic energy of the electrons, now it will be converting into the heat energy. So that will be the basic principle of electron beam building process. The succession or you can say series of an electron striking at the same place causes the workpiece metal to be melt and fused together and the metal joining process is being completed. So it should be noted that the greater the kinetic energy of the electrons, the greater is the amount of heat it being released. Since the electrons cannot be traveled well through the air, they are made to travel into the vacuum, which is the reasons for the enclosing the electron gun as well as the workpiece into a vacuum chamber. Then and then with the help of vacuum chamber, you can easily concentrate that electron beams towards a workpiece material. Otherwise, it will be spattered out and it will be not concentrated onto a single spot. So that will be the difficulties to converting the molten form of the base metal and workpiece materials. So into the case of an electron beam welding process, the vacuum chamber that will be the necessary part as a setup into the metal joining processes. So some of the advantages of this process, any metals including zirconium, beryllium and tungsten can be easily welded. High quality welds as an operation is carried out into the vacuum. Concentrated beam minimized or distortions into the workpiece materials. So that will be the important part to reduce the distortion kind of welding defects. Cooling rate is much higher. Heat affected zone is less because it will be utilization of a vacuum chamber and easily concentrated towards the workpiece material. Shielding gases, fluxes or you can say filler metals is not being required to performing a joint. Some of the disadvantages, high capital cost because of the generator of the electrons as well as the tungsten materials which will be increasing the cost or you can say also a uh, you need to controlling the vacuum chamber for a welding process. Excessive joint penetrations is required. Vacuum requirements tend to limit the production rate as well as the size of an job. Size of the vacuum chamber restrict the size of the workpiece being welded. Not suitable for high carbon steels. Cracks occurs due to the high cooling rates. Some of the applications used in electronic industries, automotive and aircraft industries where the quality of the whale requires forms and decisive factor. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.